Hi friends, uh, today we have uh, Rahul here, who is one of our course enrolled students. And uh, Rahul is an electrical engineering student uh, who has just finished his B.Tech in 2020. And uh, Rahul, can you give us some background about your education, if you have worked somewhere and things like that? Uh, basically, I have my B.Tech is done from IIT Delhi. And before that, I have uh, studied at Madhapur, Sri Chaitanya Narayana. Oh, in College. Hyderabad? Yeah, in Hyderabad. Okay. And that's it. So you graduated in electrical engineering in 2020, right? Yes. So your coursework, everything got delayed because of COVID. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. So uh, can you give us some background about your learning experience? Because you're a course enrolled student of applied yeah. course. So can you tell us, can us, can you walk through the learning experience from your perspective, especially okay. coming from electrical engineering background? Yeah. Since I am coming from electrical engineering, so Generally, electrical engineering people will do data structures and they have some basic idea about data structure, data structure, C programming, but not so much into other areas. So the first thing I done, I have done was by was look, looking at the previous papers, like almost like for 10 days, I was just uh, scrolling to scrolling through previous papers and looking at the answers. Uh, do they have complicated uh, methods for solving are they just mugging up like I was looking at the questions and more importantly I was looking at the answers like how many levels of logics were involved in that so for 10 days I was I was just looking into that then I got a clear idea like how tough the paper will be and like how deep the questions will be and from others like everyone okay the things which everyone has to do is consistently spend some time on daily consistently spend some time on the subject and uh, revising the thing i have done different is like i used it to uh, i didn't prepare notes but i used it to prepare the questions for every video like if i watch a video i would i would write questions like what what are the questions which are explored in this video so every video I have to get around like one page of questions. So, so these are questions based on the video content, which will help yeah. you in revision. Is that the idea? Yeah. Yeah. Basically idea is that like, if I read the questions, uh, if I read the questions and try to answer myself, those questions, the entire content of the video will be covered. Hey, can you give us an example? Because it's a very interesting and innovative strategy. Can you give us a small example? Maybe two questions for a given video. Any something like in theory of uh, computations, like if I am going through the topic like a uh, DFS and NFS, like uh, suppose if we are converting DF, DFA to e, ENFA, I used to write question like, uh, what is the most crucial step which, uh, which is involved while we are converting a DFA into ENFA or ENFA to DFA, like uh, something like questions like that. So these are not gate type questions. These are more subjective, critical questions, which can be answered if you understand the video thoroughly. Yeah, yeah. Those which actually help help in the revision. Like that's a very nice idea. It's also very innovative and different from what we see students doing. It's a very nice idea, actually. I mean, it was useful in like uh, in preparation. Like uh, morning, I used to watch the videos and prepare the questions, and the. And last two hours during the night, I use it to answer those questions. Got it. And and if I can't some question, if I can't answer some questions, so I use it to know that I didn't understand the concept perfectly. So I should again, I will again watch the video and try to that try to answer that question. I mean, how you frame that questions? It depends from person to person. Yes, like, yes, yes. That's true. That's true. It's I like writing to, your own notes. Yeah. Everybody has a different strategy. Initially, I use it to get very less questions. But after like watching some videos, I use it to, I use it to write questions like into more details. Got like it. Got detailed. it. So I had one more question. As somebody who's already graduating from, I, who, have, who has graduated from IIT Delhi Electrical Department, yeah. what was your motivation in taking the gate exam, especially in CSC? Actually, I was more interested in the machine learning and AI part. So I want to uh, study. Uh, study that basically that's it got it got it that's a that's a very valid point we have spoken yeah. to other students from top universities 
Mm-hmm. One of the top motivation is either I want to go into a research field or I want to learn these advanced topics like AI yeah. machine learning and then jump to other career options. That's yeah. a valid point. So uh, uh, what suggestions do you have for students very similar to you who come from an electrical engineering background? What would you suggest to them on how to best prepare, again, if they want to crack yeah. gate CSC? Uh, just first know, like, know your strengths. That's more important. Like, if you need more practice or do you need more theory? Like theoretical uh, clarity is compulsory. There is no uh, replacement but replacement for that. But uh, the problem with uh, having clear, the, uh, like if you want to have theoretical clarity, you may not understand some topics sometimes and you may get stuck on those topics. Like even for me also, like, I. Uh, like for electrical engineering, uh, most of the topics are new. So yes. some topics didn't sink into me uh, early. After like uh, like uh, after repeating the stuff three times, I got uh, confidence that okay, I know this perfectly. So uh, uh, don't go into like I I went into the mindset that. Uh, during the first uh, revision, I will understand everything. So it it will take time. Like some topics will take time. Uh, you have to just keep be pers- persistent about that and uh, think about them uh, whenever you have time. Like there are really some topics uh, which uh, which takes more time t- more time than others. Surely, if you're coming from electrical engineering, something like undecidability seems completely out of your traditional uh, learning that you have had in four years. I can completely, like for example, if somebody teaches me, let's say some concepts in uh, high energy physics or something, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know ABC of it. So it will take more time to sink in for sure. Yeah, yeah. Cool. For electrical, yes. Go ahead, go ahead, please. For electrical engineering, it's a theory of computation and uh, identifying the topics like theory of computation, digital logic. These are all easy. Like Yes, they're takes- easy. Yes, yes. Got it. So any suggestions you have for applied gate course on how we can better improve our course for the next batch of students? So one thing, sir, uh, we have the uh, option of bookmarking the questions, right? Yes, yes. So if we have an option of like Generally, we bookmark the question which uh, which we have done silly mistakes or we found the topic difficult or good questions. Yes. So after bookmarking the questions, if we have some space to write like, why did I do this question? Why did I... Uh, a, small, a small text box. Yeah, text box. Like what is the most uh, important thing about this question? We, the reason why you have bookmarked like it's a very have, nice point it's also simple to do it uh, we will surely do it let me make a note of it so, so we, uh, we bookmark the question but we forget we often forget why did we book, bookmark this question so right. like after uh, two months uh, if we revise the bookmarked questions you don't know why why uh, why even you bookmarked this question so if we have if we can write some points uh, below that question I think it will be more useful. It's a very nice suggestion. Other students also have told us that under the video, can we have a personalized text box only for themselves? So it's something that I'll surely share with our uh, software development team. And it's it's also not very hard. It should be simple to do. So we'll surely do that. It's a very nice idea for sure. I could say that applied course is like, uh, it is the best platform like for for preparing for GIT, like, it is very concise. Like, uh, if you perfect the videos, it's more than enough. Like, uh, sir, you have covered more than enough. Like, the videos. Got it. Got yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot, Rahul, for your time, and uh, thanks a lot for sharing your very unique perspective and unique okay. approach to cracking gate. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. Okay.